Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power BI tutorials. In this video, I'm going to explain you more about the text cards in Power BI. So this is our Power BI and uh, all the tables that we had imported earlier on, they are just getting loaded right now. So first of all, what is a text card? We have already uh, seen the usage of the text cards in the previous videos. This is actually a number card that is uh, holding the total amount of sales being done. And this is a text card holding the name of the country that is United States and the uh, name of the first region that is the central region. Okay, so uh, let's just remove this United States card. So we have got four regions in total and uh, in which the first region by the alphabetic order is the central region so uh, whenever we are using say text card then what do we do is uh, we usually don't search for something that is kind of like the first thing in a category or the first uh, thing in a region we don't want the central region to be shown like this usually we when we are working with the dashboards we are searching for a region uh, that has made the maximum number of sales or uh, from where we have got the maximum number of orders or from where we have fetched the maximum profit that is what is our center of focus when we are working with dashboards so how can we work with it i'm going to show you a simple example let's create a new page and we are going to create a table over here so that's a table yes so the uh, table that i referred to in the region section was this orders table and if we just drag some of these things like say region sales and profit into it okay so what do we get is region wise sales and the region wise profit over here also we can just get the count of order id so that is how many orders were placed in that particular region if we just uh, sort it with the sales so we are now getting that east region has given us the maximum number of sales okay if we are sorting with the help of the profit so again it's the east region from where we have got the maximum profit now if we just want to sort by order id that is uh, from which region we got the most number of orders so that is the central region so this is a criteria which may be used while depicting the cards in a dashboard so this is what we are going to try to show that is the region with the maximum number of sales the region with the maximum number of profit and the region with the maximum number of orders were placed so if you're talking about sales, first we would be covering sales. We would be getting the East region as our answer. That is what we are expecting. So let's see how can we integrate it with the help of the cards. Okay, so let's just go back to this cards page where we have got the central region. Now we want to show the region with the maximum number of sales. Okay, so what we can do for that purpose is we can first drag this card over here. Okay, now uh, when this card is selected, make sure that you expand this filters pane. Now, what does this filters pane do? It accepts these different types of filters that could be applied over the different cards. Since the card that we are using is of a region or in the region card, the different filters that could be applied could be on the number of sales, profit, quantity, orders, etc. So how can we do that is as soon as you expand this filters pane you can see there are these three things filters on this visual filters on this page and filters on all pages so filters on this visual can be used to apply the filters on the particular visual that is being selected filters on this page would be applied over all the visuals of this particular page that is page number three and filters on all pages means all the uh, filters that are available uh, all the pages that are available over here like from page one till page five the filters would be available since we are talking about only the visual uh, this card so we would be going with this region so what we can do is add the data fields so what fields we are going to add is the region field this is the field where we want to apply a filter okay now in the region field we have got these bunch of options we have got a count of all the regions over here and right now we are getting a basic filtering okay 
So if we just expand it, there are these different options of filters available. We can go with advanced filter or we can go with top in. So what is this top in? This top in will show us the top amount or the top number of values that is associated with in. So we need to provide a value for n, like if we provide three, so it would show us the top three values. If we provide with five, it would show top five values. But if we want only the topmost value, we can simply provide the value of n as one. So I'm just going to click on top n. So it asks me that what do you want to do? Uh, you want to show items of either top or either bottom. So I'm going with top. I'm going to uh, go with the region that has got the most number of sales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type here one that is I'm going to get only one region and by value means uh, we need to add the fields on the basis of which we want to filter it. We want to filter it on the basis of sales for the region which has made the most number of sales. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the sales field into this by value. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on apply filter. And then you got to just wait for a second or a few. And you can see that our card is now changed into East. The region, uh, the reason why we are getting this is because the East region is the one which has given us the most number of sales. So that is how you can filter the criteria or filter the stuff. Suppose uh, the next thing that we had in our table was for the profit. Like uh, if we just um, sort it with the profit again, we are getting the East region. So let's just try and apply it over here in this filters pane. Instead of sales, we can just remove the sales value. And if we just drag this profit value, then what happens now in this card? What we are going to get is the East region again. If we just click on apply filter again, it's going to be East region. There is going to be no change because East region is giving us the maximum profit. But the third quantity was the order ID. If we just drag this order ID over here and click on apply filter, then what happens? we get the central region as the answer. The reason why? Because central region gave us the maximum number of orders and that you can consult with the table itself. If we just sort it on the basis of the order ID, then we have get 566 order IDs associated in the central region, which means that 566 orders, the most number of orders were placed from the central region. Okay. So that's what we have got over here. Now there is one more thing right now we are getting the um, quantity for the top items. What if we want the bottom items? There is usually a contrast where you can get like the region which has got the most number of orders and the region which has got the least number of orders. So we can work with it as well only with this top end filter only. We can just go to the show items and instead of top we can simply select bottom. And now what we are going to do is since n is set to one, we are going to get the region which has the least number of orders. So see this region is changed to south. And if we just consult back from our table. So yes, that is correct. South has given us the least number of orders with a total of 442 orders only. Simply uh, that is how you can work with the cards. That's how you can just filter these cards. And if instead of the order ID, you want to make sure to know that which region has generated the minimum amount of sales, you can just drag this sales field again and click on apply filter. Then what happens is uh, you would get the region which has given us the minimum number of sales. That's again the South region, I think. Yes, that's again the South region. So the South region has given us the minimum sales, the minimum profit and the minimum orders. So if you want to show the maximum stuff, you can just go with top mm, in the items for the top end filter. If you want to go for the uh, least amount of the least value, you can just go with the bottom filters. And that's how it works. That's how you can just work with the filters uh, using the cards. Also, you can just um, actually work with more than one value. But uh, since the card is used to store or it is used to show only a single value, say, suppose if you just provide it with three, 
and apply the filter then there must be no change because um, see here if you just go with sales okay what happens right now okay so the east region has got the maximum number of sales right if we go here then in the top three we are getting a uh, central region as our answer and if you see the central region has the is on the third spot of the sales so it's giving us this as the answer that's the central region so it is not very much reliable to work with more than one values with a card so it is advised to just go with a single one and you can simply go and apply filter that's the east region so that is all that you need to know about the cards and the filtering that must be applied on the cards in power bi thanks for watching